All right guys, today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Boya BYBM6040 short shotgun microphone. So let's get into the video. Right guys, Neil from Neil Coins recording. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back to my channel if you're not. Either way, appreciate you tuning into this video. Now the good people at Boya have sent me the BYBM6040 short shotgun mic to review. So I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and then I'm gonna review the mic, let you know what I think about it. So if you do enjoy the video, please do give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment below. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so I can let you know when new content is released. But let's get into today's video. So before we unbox this, I'm just gonna run through the specs with you. So, off the box, features. Ideal for broadcast, TV shoots, location shooting, documentaries. Tailored for rich, natural sounding audio. Maximizes rejection of sound from the rear and sides. Wide spectrum frequency response. Rugged alloy aluminium construction. Powered by 12 to 48 volt phantom power. Includes foam windscreen, fur windshield, 60 centimeter XLR cable, microphone stand, and zipper bag. Okay, so now we we'll just have a quick look at the specs. So it's a cardioid polar pattern, so it picks up audio from the front, should reject it from the sides and back. We'll test that out in a bit. Frequency response, 90 hertz to 20,000 hertz. So 90 hertz is fairly low, but it's not low, low, but you don't want any of the really low end stuff with this sort of microphone. It's mostly gonna be used for vocal audio. So you don't need anything below 90 hertz, that's for sure. 20,000 hertz is quite high. You don't need to go any higher than that for vocal audio, especially. As I said before, it's 12 to 48 volt phantom power. It needs that to power the microphone. So you're gonna need an audio interface, a bit like this one that I've just done a review on. So check that out. It's also from Boya, nice budget audio interface. So worth having a look into. You will need an audio interface or something to power the microphone. And it's an XLR microphone. So it's got three pin XLR out the back. So standard XLR connection. And it weighs about 100 grams, so it's quite light. But let's have a look, see what we get inside the box. Okay, so we just pull this off. Okay, so first things first, we have the case with the microphone inside, I presume. So let's just open that and carefully take that out. So yeah, we've got the microphone inside and it's already got the foam windshield on just to protect it and to make it easier to transport, I would think. But you can take the windshield off and you've got the shotgun microphone underneath. Okay, but we'll leave that on for now. And we've got the case, which is nice. It's padded, so it's got a nice bit of protection. So yeah, nice little mic case, that. So just pop that back inside for now. Okay, we've also got the instruction manual if you need to have a read through the specs again. So put that to one side. We've got mic clip to attach to your pole or whatever else you're gonna attach the mic to. It's also got the little connector inside. What else have we got? So we've also got a super furry windshield. So this is more for your outside broadcast, that sort of thing, to protect the microphone from the wind. So we're gonna have a go with this later and just see how that works. Always find these look really weird, but they really do do the job. So we'll try that out later for sure. And we've also got It's only a little one, I've got this little XLR cable, fairly short cable, but if you're using it on a boom, then it might be ideal for that. But for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be using a longer one, but it's always nice to have an XLR cable. This XLR cable is really nicely made, it feels quite thick, quite good quality, nicely put together. So, XLR cable. So you would more than likely be mounting this on a broadcast bar or a boom bar, broadcast, short films, that sort of thing, documentaries have it angled over the talent. But for the purpose of this video and to test it out, I've got a little scissor arm mic stand that I'm gonna use. So I'm just gonna plug this into that now, plug it into my audio interface, into my Mac, and then we'll have a listen to the audio coming out of this. So I'm just gonna do that now, bear with me. Right, so that's all plugged in now. So I'm gonna to switch to this microphone. The audio you hear from now will be this microphone here. Magic. So the audio now is coming out of the BYBM6040 short shotgun mic. Now bear in mind this room isn't really sound treated so there is going to be a little bit of 
echo in any microphone you use unless it's right next to your face. But you can hear the standard of audio that you're going to get from this microphone. Now obviously I can't hear it at the moment so I'm going to have a listen back to it afterwards and I'll let you know what I think about the sound quality in the recording. But this is the audio with no EQ, no processing, so just the audio as it is coming straight out of the microphone. At the moment the microphone has no windshield or anything on so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pop on the standard windshield and just see what it sounds like then. Okay so this is with an extra bit of protection. It's got the standard windshield on now you're probably going to use this most of the time if you're using a boom arm indoors for documentaries and that sort of thing so this is what that is going to sound like. It does give the mic a bit of protection from any unwanted sounds. So that's it with the standard windshield on. Now now I'll just put on the super furry one. Okay, so now we've got the super furry windshield on. Now it's probably gonna sound a little bit more muffled. Again, I'll check this out afterwards. And we'll have a listen back, but it's really gonna help outside in windy situations or just being outside, you're gonna pick up some sort of wind unless it's a super nice day with no wind, you're gonna get a little bit of breeze. So. Having one of these outside is pretty essential, so we'll test it out in a bit and see if it actually does the job. So we're back to the mic without any windshields on at the moment. This is just the mic on its own. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring the mic a bit closer to me so that you can hear what the audio sounds like close up. Okay, so this is what the microphone sounds like really close up. So if you're going to compare it to a lot of the other microphones I reviewed, they're usually pretty close to my face, so this is more of a fair comparison. Obviously, you're going to be using it a bit further away, but this is what the actual audio quality is like without that distance. So yeah, this is the audio quality, no processing, EQ or anything like that. This is just the raw audio coming out of the mic itself. So this is the actual audio quality you're going to get. Now, while we've got it in this position, I'm just going to go around the mic so you can hear what the rejection's like. So this is obviously from the front. This is from the side, so you shouldn't be able to hear much at all. This is from the front again. This is from the other side. And this is from the back, so you're probably going to get a bit of reflection off the walls, but you shouldn't be able to hear much at all, or if you do, it will be very, very slight. So let's just bring it back. And this is what it's like from the front. So I'm going to put it back up in the position that we would usually have it. All right, so we've got the microphone back where it would be. It's at like a 45 degree angle, and it's about that far away from my mouth, about a 45 degree angle. So this is where you'll have the mic. Obviously, if you're shooting documentaries or anything like that, then the microphone is going to be out of shot. So you can have a bit of diff distance between you and the talent. But on the actual audio interface at the moment, I've only got this turned up very slightly. So you don't need much gain for the microphone, which is good, which means you're introducing less noise into the audio signal so that's good. I'm just going to do a quick test blowing on the microphone just to show you what the windshields do. So let's bring the mic back down. This is what happens when you just blow on the mic with no windshield or anything. So not great, horrible, distorted, don't want that. Let's put the the smaller windshield on. Still a bit of noise, but not nearly as much. So let's put the fluffy windsock on. Okay, so that, that test isn't overly scientific. I'm just blowing on the microphone, but you can see the differences that the two windshields make. Outside, I think this windshield would work just fine. So if you're in like high winds, then you probably would need something a bit more substantial than this, but you would do for most microphones. So, final test I'm gonna do with this microphone is I'm just gonna turn up the gain just so we can get the noise floor. So, I'm just gonna shut up for a bit. I'm gonna turn this audio interface right up and we'll just see how much noise is introduced. But like I say, at the moment, this audio interface's gain is on a quarter, so that's really good. So you won't need to turn it up much more than this anyway, but this is just so that you can hear when we whack it right up on this audio interface, what sort of noise you get. So, let's just do that now. So that's half. 
and that my friends is all the way up so obviously there's a lot more noise now but there was always going to be so let me just take it down to a sensible level back down to where it should be that's what the noise floor sounds like now I'm just going to switch back to this microphone for the conclusion this microphone is currently retailing in the US about $125. That's about 90 Great British pounds, so under 100 pounds, which is amazing for this type of microphone. It's not available on Amazon in the UK yet, but I'm sure that it will be very soon. So just send Boy an email if you want to know a release date, but it should be coming very soon. You can get it in the US. BM6060, I think it's called retails in the UK about 66 pounds at the moment. So it might be similar to that price. So even better either way it's really good value for money so audio quality wise i think it sounds great like i say there is a bit of echo in here but that's just the room it's not really the microphone itself it's very directional you can see when i went round, the audio was getting reflected away apart from the front so that's brilliant i like the size it's just a short one shotgun mics are usually really long this one's quite a short one which is nice really portable as with all the boy microphones i've tested it feels really well made uh, the mic clip's really tight, so that there's no chance of the microphone falling out, especially if you've got it hovering above someone's head, you don't want that to happen. It's really tight into that mic clip. All the components are really well made, really nice. Just a really nice product, and I think it sounds great. So, the price, I don't think you can really go wrong. If you're looking for a short shotgun mic for documentaries, short films, that sort of thing, then definitely worth looking into. So. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have found it useful, please do give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you've used this microphone. If you like the look at the microphone, if you use a microphone similar, just start a conversation. It's always great to hear from you guys and I read and reply to every comment. If you're not already, please do consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell so I can let you know when new content is released. Releasing content on a Monday and Thursday at the moment, audio and visual gear reviews, editing tutorials, drone tutorials, Premiere Pro tutorials. Got some nice little playlists set up so it's nice and easy to navigate around the site. So it'd be really great to have some of you on board. Please do subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. If you're already subscribed, make sure the notification bell's turned on so I can let you know when new content is released. That's it for this one. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one.